Welcome to the Smart Zone demonstration series for Release 5.0. In this series, we'll be covering the new features available in Release 5.0. In this demonstration, I'll be covering the new option to disable the recovery SSID for zones, individual wireless LANs, or on a wireless LAN group. This feature was designed to allow reachability to an AP if it were to lose connectivity to its controller and gateway router, although in some cases, the broadcast of this SSID is affecting other wireless systems. This option allows you to disable the recovery SSID permanently on the 2.4 GHz and or the 5 GHz radios in a zone, or on an individual AP, or in an AP group. So let's get started. Over here we have my virtual smart zone essentials. I'm going to log in here real quick. Uh, this is smart zone, uh, virtual smart zone essentials. This feature is also available on the high scale, as well as on the appliance. Uh, first, let's take a look down here at the system info section. The version is 5.0.0.0.675. This is the first GA release of version 5.0 of SmartZone. So let's go ahead and take a look at configuring this feature. So we're going to access points, and we can configure this first at the zone level. The zone level, if we configure it here, the configuration applies by default to all AP groups and all APs that exist within the zone. So I have two APs in this zone, and they're part of the default AP group. So let's go ahead and take a look at the zones configuration. Now this configuration is found down at the bottom here in the advanced options. So let's go ahead and highlight those, and it's down at the bottom. We can turn off the recovery SSID. So right now it's enabled, the default status for it to be enabled. Uh, we can click the switch and disable it for the entire zone. So I'll go ahead and save that here. Now what this will do is this will disable the recovery SSID for all APs and all AP groups within the zone. So let's go ahead and take a look at the AP group. So this is my default AP group and I can configure it here. And within the AP group, I can again scroll all the way down to the advanced options. And in advanced options, I have the opportunity to override. This is overriding the configuration for the zone. So I will say, yes, I want to override it. The zone is configured for this to be disabled, but I want it to be enabled in this AP group. So now we've uh, basically disabled it at the zone level, but enabled it at the AP group level, and we'll go ahead and save that. Now lastly, we have the option of disabling this at the AP level. So now again, we've disabled it at the zone, then we re-enabled it in the AP group, so now I can actually go to an individual access point and override both of those and set this access point to behave the way I'd like it to behave. So again, in advanced options, We can scroll down here to recovery SSID. Do I want to override it? Yes. For my AP group level, it's enabled, so I inherited that at first, but now I want to disable it for this one AP in my AP group that's part of the zone. So I know that's a little bit complicated, but it gives you flexibility to allow yourself to enable or disable this functionality uh, at will. You can enable it or disable it globally for an entire zone and make things easy for you, but you might have locations where you might want this functionality to be available again, and that might be in an AP group level, or that might be an individual AP level. So let's go ahead and save this. And basically, let's summarize what we've done here. I've gone to the zone level, and I've disabled the recovery SSID feature. Then I went into one of the AP groups, the default AP group within that zone, and I enabled it for all APs in that AP group. If I had multiple AP groups, it might have only been a subset of the APs. This is a lab environment where I only have two APs in one AP group, so it's a very simplistic uh, uh, implementation of it. But then I could go in even further and go down to the individual access point level, and I can override the setting for the AP group that it's a member of, or for the override the setting for the zone that it's in. So I'm able to piecemeal uh, this disabling functionality or enabling functionality of this recovery SSID. 
So that covers this feature and this functionality for you. Um, it's, uh, it's a rather short video, but it has some useful information for you. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Keep in mind this is part of an entire series of demonstrations for release 5.0 that covers new features that are available in this release. So hopefully you come back and take some time to look at some of the other videos in this series. I hope this information was helpful for you, and hope to see you back here again soon. Thank you.